Hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a Japanese offering box. So let's get started. So I have a square paper right here that I have already folded two times like this. Then I'm going to take this corner and fold it inwards and do that for all the corners. Then I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to fold it over this line like this. I'm going to crease it down both sides. Then I'm going to fold it in half and crease it. It's okay if there's a little like paper sticking out. Then you're going to um, find this opening, open it up all the way, and then push this square upward so that it makes a diamond-like shape. So your paper should look like this so far. Then you're gonna turn it over and do the same thing to the other side. Open it up and crease it, fold it, Increase it again. Okay, so it should look something like this. Then you're gonna take the middle of the two papers, push your fingers, and fold it down like this. And you're gonna flip it over and do the same to the other side. After that, you're going to make a book fold. You're going to take this side and fold it to this side. And take this side and fold it to this side. So you should have something that looks like this right now. After that, you're going to take one edge and fold it to the middle. You're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. It should look like a house. Then you're going to flip it over and do the same thing. After that's done, you're going to take it, you're going to take one edge, and then fold it down. You're going to flip it over and do the same thing. Take the edge and then fold it down. Just like this. Then you want to just push these edges out and look at the bottom. Your bottom should look something like this after you're very done. And you set it like this and that's a Japanese offering box. You can put anything you want in it.